Hi, I'm Michael Meda, and this is Water and Solute Movement Through Cell Membranes. A cell membrane is semi-permeable, which means only some molecules can passively diffuse through it. So for example, here we have a cell membrane. Some small molecules, such as gases and water, can simply make their way through without any help. This is called passive diffusion and requires no energy. On the other hand, we have some larger molecules, such as proteins and complex sugars, that need energy to make their way in. They can't simply diffuse through. So for this example, we have our cell membrane, but in some parts of the cell membranes, we'll have channels or pores like this, which allow for the larger molecules to make their way through. So for example, we have a protein. It'll go through the channel and make its way through the cell membrane. However, in this process we need energy in the form of ATP. So unlike simple diffusion, active transport for large molecules requires energy in the form of ATP. I'm Michael Meda, and this has been Water and Solute Movement Through the Cell Membrane.